case. Now we're going to look at inequalities, solving inequalities that involve multiplication and division with positive numbers. Something kind of special happens if you're dealing with negative numbers. Um, if you're ending in solving, if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number to solve it, then something happens. So let's just look at these multiplication ones. Again, just like an equation, except for you have an inequality sign. So three times some number is greater than 12. I am going to undo that multiplication with the inverse, divide, got to do it to both sides. X is greater than four. Okay, let's see what that looks like on the number line. I'm gonna make a line, I'm gonna put a four here. Five, six, three, two. X is greater than four, so it doesn't include four. Is anything bigger this should be true for? So anything going up the number line. I'm gonna try a value. Three times some number is greater than 12. Okay, well, I'll try five. It says five should be a solution. So three, put five in for X is greater than 12. Three times five, that's 15 is greater than 12. That is a true th fact. 15 is greater than 12, so my solution for my inequality seems to be correct, that anything greater than 4 will work. Okay, so that was an example of a multiplication inequality. Here we have some number divided by 2 is less than or equal to 4. Using my inverse operations to solve the opposite of dividing by 2, multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2, that's gone. X is less than or equal to 4 times 2, 8. I'm going to put that on the number line. Uh, 8, 9, 10. Just get a few numbers on there so it's clear what I'm graphing. 8 is less than or equal to, X is less than or equal to 8. 8 is part of my solution because of that equals. So I'm going to put a closed dot saying, yep, it's part of the solution. So is any number lower, less than, going in that direction. Okay, let's test this out. My original inequality was some number divided by 2 is less than or equal to 4. That's what we originally had. Well, I'm going to use that 6 because it's an even number and see if it, it works because I know I'm going to have to divide by 2. So I'm going to put a 6 in for the x divided by 2 is less than or equal to 4. 6 divided by 2, that's easy. 3 is less than or equal to 4. Yeah, oops, sorry guys. 3 is definitely less than 4, so it worked out. Okay, that is again is a couple examples of uh, multiplication and division solving inequalities uh, with positive numbers. Thanks, guys.